now let's talk about validation in laravel okay so now you have form to input the data okay so if you input some data and submit it uh, it will create new entry okay so uh, while submitting that data this data goes to this controller okay uh, nodes controller uh, which is responsible for, uh, responsible for controlling nodes okay so in this controller in store method so that form uh, data goes to uh, this store method okay this request catches that okay form data all of the request we are storing that all of the form data in this variable and we are creating uh, that entry okay in database so in between these two steps validation is uh, quite important okay so uh, your user uh, might input whatever uh, kind of data okay that might not be required for you okay you might not uh, want to input uh, data okay so for, for example your input uh, your user might input very long data or some sort of CD HTMLs okay or uh, some user might not submit any data and that will create the null field in your database okay so while sorting out that uh, will may make your task uh, slightly um, harder okay to sort the data in database and do all these stuffs okay so in order to maintain the uniformity in database and reduce the chance of getting your site hacked uh, we need to do validation so laravel out of the box provides uh, several validation rules okay uh, you can use we'll talk about them uh, first so the basic validation uh, so let's quick start validation so here is our data okay in this variable uh, indeed we don't require this uh, uh, request all to assign to variable we can directly pass that like so here okay so now now let's do some validation so there is a method called val uh, called validate uh, to validate the data so we'll use that now in order to validate the incoming data yeah, you have to uh, do this validate and what you want to validate the request data okay the data which is coming from form and we have to define the validation rules here in array okay like this so that's all we need now inside this array we will define our validation rule for the form data so let's take a look at create form uh, this form this create form uh, in create dot blade dot PSP here uh, we are we have name called title and body okay so uh, we have to provide the rule for these two fields so first for title field title so what we want are these two so what we uh, want to make the restriction for the user okay so user must fill this field in order to do that we define required okay here so this is one rule uh, next uh, let's do the same for body also require okay let's save this now if I try to submit this form without doing anything for example without typing anything if I want to submit this this will not get submitted okay so what's this out this will redirect me to same page so that will not get submitted also if you want to define a more rule okay so if I want this title field to uh, required also I want user to type uh, minimum uh, 10 words so I will do that like this so min 
sorry <laughs> characters not words so 10 mean 10 characters okay at least 10 characters are required so now let's check this out so now if i try to submit without doing this this will redirect me back if i submit something like this mm, now it will submit okay so here it is entry so now uh, our title field minimum uh, 10 characters are required so if i type only two character p o p and here something okay whatever yeah that will not get submitted it redirects me to same page okay so now we are uh, we are defining the rule where the user should type minimum 10 characters okay similarly or uh, you can type max max 10 okay so user is not uh, able will be able to uh, type very long string okay so let's make that 20 similarly required uh, minimum of 20 so this is uh, about minimum so there are uh, different rules you can check them out here at this url laravel validation okay so let's see what rules so, so available validation rules so here are a lot of rules uh, we talked about required okay which you'll be using most of the time also there is array date accepted array okay boolean uh, file integer max min okay here so another thing which you uh, will be using most of the time time is unique okay so let's check that out so um, unique so you want for example this title field to be unique okay uh, so so unique so it requires two parameters two three parameters okay so first a uh, which table okay in database uh, in which table you want this title to be unique so for example notes table okay and second param uh, parameter uh, you specify by giving comma and uh, the, that will be the column name okay so which column it will be the title column okay so like so you can decide so this field should be unique in notes table in title column okay so that's how you define uniqueness and required so uh, if you want to know more about this okay just click open and just see okay so that is enough to get you going with validation okay simple validation so next we'll talk about catching the errors okay so for example if there is uh, some error or validation rule didn't match it is not saying something it is not giving me feedback okay it is just uh, responding by redirecting so that is not uh, user friendly okay so let's catch the errors so this uh, this is the validation okay so just this validates and if this validation rule fails we want to do something so in order to show the errors uh, here in create form where this create form is okay like this okay we want to show uh, it so in order to do that you are in the create form you have to uh, do this uh, at the rate if if um, errors so if count of errors so count errors is greater than zero we want to do something inside and if so so uh, we don't need to define these error variable okay this is available all in all over the view okay yeah, yeah. so 
this error variable is available all everywhere in laravel okay so uh, we don't need to pass anything we don't need to do anything like these variable other variables okay these okay so if the error is greater than one so if there is something wrong this error variable will be greater than zero so if that is greater than zero we want to show errors okay so we will form the ul tag so inside here mm, list item so here we want to show errors so at the rate for each errors all okay there might be several errors okay so we will loop through each error and show them okay as singular error so and for for each okay so if there are five errors this will loop through five times and so five errors so error so now we are done okay so slightly make it look nicer by adding some bootstrap class so alert alert danger okay so let's get back to create form so now if i try to submit without doing anything so this will pop up title field is required and body field is required okay so now this is working so now if i just type uh, only two or three character or uh, here just minimum character and if i want to submit so body must be at least 50 characters okay now we are uh, feeling that but uh, there is another error okay so like this error will be shown so this is uh, about basic validation okay if you want to do more you can take a look at this uh, documentation okay so that's all for now bye